Hi everybody. This is Danielle McCarty of Muscle Mommy Fitness. This is my website where you can go for lots of great resources. There's lots of clean recipes on here, um, a blog, and you can uh, sign up for lots of free things like a clean eating shopping list and free workouts. So um, if you have a chance, please go to MuscleMommyFitness.com. Today we're going to be doing a Tabata workout. Hi, how are y'all doing today? Thank you for joining me. I'm gonna get my music going. And without much ado, we will be getting started. But um, first, my name is Danielle McCarty. I am a health and fitness coach. My passion is helping people become their best selves through um, weight loss, if that's their goal, or just getting healthier and eating better. So today, um, I did a clean eating scope earlier about um, the clean eating principles. And now, here's the other component of a healthy, healthy life. Hi, Laura Clark. Thank you for joining. So you can't just diet, right? You got to work out too. So here we go. Here's the exercise portion of my day that I am going to share with you today. We're going to be doing a Tabata workout that is going to be focusing on abs and core today. Hi. I can't read that. What's your name? If you want, to, want, to, want me to give you a shout out, just put your name at the end there. So I'm not calling you like likes toast or something funky like that. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get the music started. Okay, for this workout, all you're gonna need is a, some light weights, light to medium weights, a towel, and some water. So is anybody going to work out with me today? Or are you just gonna watch me work out? <laughs> I think more often than not, that's the case. So I'll get this done here. Try to get set up. Okay, this is my living room. This is where the action's gonna happen today. You may see my kiddos running around in the background because it's still summertime where we're at and I'm a stay-at-home mom boss, mompreneur. So uh, yeah, sometimes my daughter likes to come in and join us during the workout, so cool. Who's ready to begin? Got my music on, gotta get my Tabata timer going. Um, if you're not familiar with Tabata workouts, it is 20 minutes, or tw I'm sorry, 20 seconds of work followed by a 10 second rest. And each exercise we are going to go through eight times before we move on to the next exercise, which will be a total of five exercises. And that will make the 20 minute workout. So here we go, let's get started. Grab a weight to begin with. I'm gonna start with an eight. I'm gonna grab a five too, I'll be right back. Sometimes when my muscles start to get really fatigued, I like to do a drop set um, just so I can hang in there. Drop set is just basically means that you're just dropping down your weight. So I'm going to start with an eight, and if my if I just can't hang, then I might have to switch to a five. Okay, so the uh, first exercise is going to be a Russian twist. You're going to get down on the floor about at a 45 degree angle, and you're just going to twist it out back and forth like this. All right, I'm gonna start the timer. You're gonna hear the buzzer when it's time for your rest, and then I'll buzz again when it's time to get back to work. All right, so join me. Get ready. Five, four, three, two, one. Exercise, exercise. Really try to breathe out. And match your breath to the movement. Keep going, try to hold those abs in tight. And this is our rest time. In the beginning, you're not gonna feel like you need that rest, but pretty soon, you're definitely gonna be looking forward to that 10 seconds of rest. It's not a long rest though. Exercise. Which is good, keeps your muscles working. Just gives you just a long enough rest so that you can get right back into it again. Really try to twist that upper body in this movement so we can really work those obliques. Shred out that muffin top area, right? And resting, four, three, two, and one. Exercise. Now all the cool people breathe out really deep. What app is the timer that talks? 
Um, I just got a, uh, downloaded a free Tabata timer app on the App Store. There's a whole bunch of them that are free. Yes. And rest. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Then you don't have to like time yourself. It'll tell you when, when to rest and get in. You can tell how many, how long you want your workout to be. You can even add music from your iTunes if you want to it. But I like to use the iTunes on my computer instead. And um, I believe you can also set the int intervals to whatever you want. Yes. So you can also use it as a um, as a hit timer if you like. Um, usually hit intervals are one minute long and then um, I'm not sure exactly. <laughs> That is what I'm going to be working on next, is getting some HIIT workouts going. And it also keeps track of how many sets you've done. Right now we're on set five of eight. Maybe I should have gone heavier. This is seeming a little easy for me today. Yes. But since all these exercises are focused on core, my, my core is definitely going to be very fatigued by the end of this 20 minutes. Exercise. Hopefully yours will be too. Now I did a similar workout last week. But, um, I did. I added a couple of different exercises to this particular. Yes. Okay, that was our sixth set. So we have two more to go, and then we will move on to alternating mountain climbers, and I will show you what that looks like. Exercise. And we try to hold those abs in tight, and you really want like a slight curve in your back and try to keep your upper body at a 45 degree angle. If you're up too high, you're not working, if you're down too low, you might be working a little too hard. And rest. One more set before we're gonna move on to alternating mountain climbers, which is gonna look like this. We're just gonna take our knee into our opposite elbow. Now I am an Insanity Live group instructor. I have a new class starting as soon as school starts. So occasionally I like to do Periscope, Periscope broadcast in which I am practicing my Insanity rounds, which is pretty cool. Okay, next we're going into the alternating mountain climbers. You wanna get into, uh-oh, it only counted. Done, I'm not done. Apparently, I did not have this set up correctly. Okay, get ready. Okay, and then we're just gonna take that knee into the opposite armpit there. Exercise. I messed up my timer. I didn't tell it how many intervals I wanted or how many exercises. I thought I already had it set up. That just made it so I had to work a little bit extra, which is good, because I need that. <laughs> I like to really put in the work. Exercise. If you're gonna take the time to work out, make it work for you. Don't go easy on yourself. Push yourself to the limit. You can pick up the pace on these. Exhaling as you bring your knee in towards your chest. Yes. And rest. Okay. Start getting red in the face from that one. <laughs> Get back in your plank position. Exercise. Really try to make your body a straight line when you're in that plank position. Keep your butt down and your abs in tight. Another thing I like about these Tabata workouts, if you get to your last couple sets and you feel like you didn't get the amount of work that you really wanted to, Exercise. you can always go faster or increase your weight. I'm not ready to do yet because I'm trying to pace myself just a bit. Yes. 
All right, if you're enjoying this workout so far, please heart it up for me. Just tap that screen. Whew. That's how I'll know if you want more workouts like this in the future. Working our shoulders here too. And feel free to comment on these too. One thing I really like about doing these periscope Tabata workouts is that I get so many breaks that I can interact with my viewers, which is nice. When I'm doing the insanity, it's really hard. I get rest, but the intervals, uh, the rest intervals are a lot less. Yes. Okay, that was set six. Two more to go. So at this point, you might decide that you want to pick up the pace a little bit more. Whew. Let's see how I do with that. Exercise. Really breathe. And okay, one more set to go. I'm gonna turn on my fan real quick. I do get hot. Exercise. Next up, we're gonna have side lunge twist. Gonna be getting up for that one. Now it thinks I'm done, so I'm gonna have to start this over. Done. No, not done. Okay, so I'm gonna grab my eight. And we are going to be side lunging and twisting. Exercise. On the same side. Really exhale as you twist. Rest. And rest. Okay, actually I'm gonna be doing four sets on each side with this one. So I'm gonna move it up to 10, so it's probably doing four. Exercise. Really twist. Really work those oblique muscles in that twist. We're also working our legs as we lunge over. Yes. Anytime you do a lunge, you wanna make sure that your knee never goes past your toes. Your knee should be directly over your ankle. Exercise. Thank you so much for those of you who are sticking in here, hanging out with me. I hope you're working. Getting a great workout in. Yes. Whew. Okay. Now, actually, I think I'm gonna extend this a little bit so that I do get exercise. Eight intervals on each side. Remember, breathe. Exhale big as you twist. Yes. Now, if you're not used to working out like this, really do pace yourself and be careful, okay? We, we don't wanna get hurt. Exercise. Okay, this is set five here. And if you're stronger than me, you can use a heavier weight or you can go lighter if you need to. Yes. Okay, looks like we have three more to go. And I like to just keep moving a little bit in between. Exercise.
man. Oh yeah? And reps, okay. Two more times on that side. Then we're gonna switch to the other side. Lunge the other direction. You may need to get water at this point. Exercise. Uh oh, getting in there late. Now when I rotate, I try to meet my opposite elbow, bring it to the knee. That ensures that I'm getting a good rotation. Do one more, since I did get a little late start on that one. Okay, one more time, then we'll switch to the other side. Exercise. Tabata workout right now. Hi. I'm Danielle McCarty, coach. Whew. Okay. Now we're going to switch to the other side and get this timer going again. Okay. Here we go. You ready? Taking it in the other direction now. And start. Exercise. Lots of clean eating tips and recipes and free workouts if you sign up for my mailing list at musclemommyfitness.com. Breathe and twist. You getting tired yet? Okay. Two down, six more to go on with that exercise. Now let's see what we have coming up after that. Tricep dip reach, that's a tough exercise. One. And sometimes I almost fall down. <laughs> really twist it out. Well, here's an old school jam, Drama Rama. Yes. I love 80s music. Anybody else out there 80s music fans? Woo! Exercise. Woo. Here comes my little, ma little man. You gonna drop a Perry Bomb, buddy? No. No. He's in his underpants right now, so. <laughs> That's pretty usual. Yes. Okay, halfway done on that side. Oh, are you sweating? I know I am. Exercise. And you want to see more workout scopes? Tap, 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 tap. Thank you for the hearts. Yay! Yes. And rest. Okay. Two more to go on that side. And what did I say? We're doing tricep dip reach. Ooh, those are especially tough for girls. Exercise. We usually don't have strong arms. And anything triceps is really my weak point. And rest. Yay, only one more set to go on that. 
How are y'all feeling? Where are y'all from? If you don't mind me asking. Exercise. If you're working hard, then you don't have to answer that. <laughs> so I don't want to take away time from your workout so that you can type. Yes. One more for good measure. Okay. Now we're going to be doing that. Tricep dip, dip reach looks like this. We're just going to alternate sides on that. Toronto, you just started Insanity? Awesome, I'm an Insanity instructor. That is my favorite workout. Well, hi, it's so good to meet you. Thanks for joining me. Get ready. Okay, here we go. Get in that crab position. We're gonna dip and reach alternating sides. Exercise. This one's tough for me. Really exhale as you reach for that foot. And if that's too hard for you, you can just kick or just do the reach and take out the tricep dip. But I encourage you to at least put a little bend in those elbows. Because if that's your least, weakest muscle group, you don't want to neglect it. You should try and strengthen it. I know it is for me. Exercise. But doing insanity, that's where I got all my strength from. I started doing it about five years ago when I was trying to lose baby weight after having my first child, my daughter. Yes. Because I had plateaued really bad and I still had like 10 to 15 pounds to lose. So somebody told me I should try insanity. And oh, oh my gosh, I kicked my butt. But it got me to lose that weight and I got in great shape and I've been hooked ever since. Try not to let your booty touch the floor. I'm guilty of that sometimes. Try to keep those hips lifted. Dab that sweat a little bit. Exercise. Really breathe and reach. Feel that squeeze in your oblique. Want to will those waists? Yes. Get that nice V taper, you know, especially for guys to get that good V shape when they work their upper body, slim down that waist. Exercise. The tricep dips are so good for getting rid of that jiggly back arm. You know that girl from um, the Hunger Games? <laughs> Maybe you've seen the footage where she waves at the camera and then she notices that her triceps are just flapping away so she kind of makes fun of it and starts waving them. I can't do that. <laughs> That's a good thing. It means my triceps are nice and toned. No jiggling when I wave. Thanks to insanity. This is where I got this move, actually. It's an insanity move. Yes. I believe it's in the original Insanity and also Insanity Max 30. When I tried Insanity Max 30, just started it like three months ago. Exercise. Oh, oh my gosh. It's a killer. Whew. Started to get wobbly here. And rest. One more time to go with that. And then we have one more move. Add punches. This is a tough one. Exercise. Which is also from Insanity Max 30. Our last tricep dip reach move. Next up, we got plank or, or ab punches. Oh, I gotta get that water. 
Be sure to stay hydrated. Especially as you're trying to lose weight, you've got to keep hydrated. That'll help flush out that fat that you're burning up. Flush it out, flush out all those toxins. Are you ready to start with our last move here? We're gonna get on our backs. Alternate punching Exercise. up to your foot. And really exhale. This is an insanity max 30 move. And this one's gonna hurt by the end. Whew. Don't mean to scare you. <laughs> Rest. <sighs> Tension to just lay here. I'm gonna get up and get some water. Exercise. Get back in place. Get right back into it. Exhaling. Hear how I'm matching my breath to the movement? Exhaling every time I punch. Rest. I think I was working a little bit through my rest there. Okay. Come up, grab your knees for a bit, and then come right back down. Try to keep your shoulders off the, the floor throughout this entire workout. Woo, I'm feeling it already. This one's tough. Yes. Pull your knees in too. Oh. Oh, I can barely even roll myself up anymore. <laughs> See, that was three. We have five more to go. joining me today. It's so nice not to have to work out at home by myself. I'm still working out at home, but I know you're there with me working out. So thank you so much. We've done, we've done five sets, three more to go. We're over the hump. Stay hydrated, people. Exercise. Again, I'm going to try to make a habit of scoping twice a day, health tips in the morning, and an exercise in the afternoon. Great workout. One more, more set. Exercise. Okay, I'm gonna take a break from talking. <laughs> Hi, thanks for joining. Yes. Oh, we're almost done with this Tabata workout. Hi, thanks for joining. This is Coach Shania. We have one more exercise to go. This is gonna be working your back, because strong back plus strong abs equals strong core. Done. So, we've got one more, one more workout to go. We're doing reverse butterflies. I'll show you what that looks like. Get ready. You get on your tummy this time. And you are gonna reach forward. Exercise. Back. Keeping your feet off the floor the entire time. This is from Insanity Live. I'm 
try to keep your knees off the floor. Rest. And rest. Okay. Now if you don't want to rest, you can even do like some push-ups in between. Exercise. This is our last exercise, so. So let's really try to work. Let's make this work for us. Let's change our bodies and improve them. We're getting healthy and fit. Yes. So we can keep up with our kids. I am using a Tabata timer. Um, it's a free download on the App Store. It's really cool. You reach back. Yes. Oh, you should really be starting to feel that in your lower back right there. Okay, that was three times, three sets. Five more to go. Exercise. And then we are done. So hang in there with me. Okay, try to keep those legs lifted. Yes. Can't believe we're halfway done with that exercise. Grab my towel. Exercise. And back in place. And 10 seconds break. It ain't long enough to do much. A little dab, a little sip. Oh, I'm getting so tired. Yes. Whoa. I'm getting worn out. How about you? Three more sets to go. We can do it. Mind over body. Whenever you feel like quitting, Remember why you started. Yes. So the saying goes, when things get tough and you want to get give up, remember why you started. Remember why you're doing this. Why you want to get healthy. Why you don't want to get in shape. Exercise. So many good reasons. That will help motivate you to keep going. set. Hang in there with me. We're almost done. It's going to be worth it. Trust me. Exercise. your hands right next to your chest and lift up your upper body. Keep your hips on the floor and look up. Keep the shoulders out of your ears and breathe. Okay, we worked our legs just a little bit, so let's stretch those out too. Okay, let's get into hamstring stretch position. Grab your foot if you can with your with this arm and then reach over with the other arm that's also gonna get you a nice stretch in the oblique. And I am incredibly flexible. So if you don't have this range of motion, that's okay. And don't forget to breathe. Oh, you're gonna feel that nice stretch in your oblique. Oh, it feels good. I could stay here all day. Yeah, let's switch and do that on the other side. Whew. 
I need a shower. <laughs> Our shoulders out quite a bit too in those plank positions. So let's clasp our hands, roll your shoulders back, clasp your hands behind your back. Keep your chest lifted, look up to the ceiling. Feel that stretch in your chest, in your shoulders, squeezing those shoulder blades together and breathe abs and tight still throughout this whole stretch. And then I like to just kind of hug it out after I do that. Just kind of pull your shoulders in a little bit. Oh, that feels good. Okay. All right. If you enjoyed this workout today, thank you so much for joining me. If you enjoyed this workout, please tap on the screen and give me some hearts. Whew. So you got a good workout in. I may be doing it again tomorrow. I'll tweet out the time when I'm going to be starting. Difference between old and max 30. You know what the biggest difference is? Is that in max 30, they tell you to um, go as far and as hard as you can, and then you record what your max out time is. Your max out time is the first point in the workout where you fail, which means you have to rest and take a break. So um, that is how you, that's how you measure your progress in that particular workout program. And I am a Beachbody coach, so if you're ever interested in any Beachbody programs, you can look me up at MuscleMommyFitness.com and join my mailing list, and I have lots of freebies to send out to you. And also you can learn about how to um, purchase Beachbody products from me and become a part of my challenge groups on Facebook. We have private groups going all the time where all our challengers get together and we help support and encourage each other. You get lots of tips and coach support and motivation. They're really awesome. They really help you succeed. A lot of people that just order their Beachbody programs from an infomercial, they miss out on that part um, of getting the free coaching. This, um, my services are completely free. You only have to pay for the program. So that's what's cool about it. All right. Does anybody else have any questions? Thank you so much for joining me today. Let's do it again sometime, all right? Take care, y'all. Have a great day. Stay healthy. Drink that water. It's Thirsty Thursday. You just joined on the site? Well, come check me out again. You can watch the replay and do the workout with me. Oh, you just joined on Periscope? Okay, awesome. Yeah, there's a lot of great scopers out there. Some of the people that I like to follow is um, Shalene Johnson, Christine Dwyer. They're, they're great for motivation for entrepreneurs, and they show you, um, they give you great tips on your, you joined on the Beachbody site? Awesome. Well, you should look me up there. My um, screen name is Muscle Mommy Fitness, and I can become your personal coach if you'd like. I would love that. Do you have any more questions for me before we go? All right. Well, if that's all, you guys have a great day. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.